a descendant of Cornelius Vanderbilt, founder of the New York Central Railroad, and a member of one of America's richest families, Alfred Gwynn Vanderbilt became interested in racing as a youth. On his 21st birthday, his mother gave him a maroon Rolls Royce, a butler, and Sagamore, her horse farm in Maryland. Vanderbilt reportedly found the butler useful and the Rolls Royce somewhat ostentatious. But horse racing was to become his life's passion. Although he raced champions such as Discovery, Next Move, and Better Roses, Vanderbilt's greatest achievement is homebred native dancer, a son of 1945 Preakness winner Polynesian, and Geisha, a daughter of Vanderbilt's foundation sire Discovery. Native dancer was racing's first four-legged television personality. Alfred Gwynn, Vanderbilt's great, great cult native dancer. But he put out a great show against those who chose to oppose him. Easy to pick out on the black and white screens of the era, Native Dancer ranked alongside Ed Sullivan and Arthur Godfrey as the most popular figures of the day as he raced to nine straight victories as a two-year-old. When he lost the 1953 Kentucky Derby to a 25 to one shot named Dark Star, people turned from the television sets in tears. The crowd of over 38,000 went for the number one thoroughbred who rounded up the starting trio, Alfred G. Vanderbilt's Native Dancer. Two weeks later, the Grey Ghost picked up where he left off and in short order won the Withers, the Preakness, the Belmont, the Dwyer, the Arlington Classic, and the Travers. He concluded his three-year-old campaign with a win in the American Derby, and the final race of his career came in 1954 when he scored his 21st win in an overnight handicap at Saratoga. As sire of Raisin Native and grandsire of Mr. Prospector and Northern Dancer, Native Dancer became internationally predominant in thoroughbred pedigrees with dozens of champions in his lineage. <laughs>